Welcome back to Computer Networks. Um, so in the last uh, video, we had a look at protocols and protocol graphs. And what we want to do today is have a look at actually how that interacts with the data that actually gets sent across the actual, uh, the network links at the, you know, at the very bottom of the, um, uh, the layered stack. And the, uh, the key thing here really actually is that each time that we push data down to a lower level, we're adding information uh, from that protocol layer as we pass it down, that the peer protocol implementation actually needs to understand. Uh, and so what we say is that each message that comes in from above from a protocol gets encapsulated in some information that that protocol provides and passed to the next layer protocol, which might well do exactly the same thing to that. So if, again, if we look at the, uh, you know, the, uh, an example, we might have an application data uh, program rather that you know, feeds some data to the next layer, uh, next protocol layer down, and that will add some data uh, to that message. So it will be encapsulated, in this case, in a request require, reply protocol uh, structure, uh, which then gets passed down to the host-to-host -host protocol, which will also add uh, its uh, encapsulation, its header, possibly footer as well onto the, um, uh, the message. That will then go through the network. And as it comes back up the other side, this is a, a key piece, exactly the opposite happens. So the host to host protocol receives a message and goes, ah, this is a host to host uh, protocol message from host one, and it's for uh, some uh, request reply protocol. Um, I better take my layer off the outside, unwrap that envelope, a bit like pass the parcel, right? and pass it up to that protocol level above. That protocol level goes, oh, I've just got a message uh, which is from uh, for an application program from my peer on another host. Um, I better take my wrapper off and hand that raw data back up to the application. So the key thing here is that at each level, the peer-to-peer -peer communications sees exactly the data that it's sending the extra encapsulation and de-encapsulation happens below it. So this enables this peer-to-peer -peer communication between the implementa implementations of the protocols. And then as we move up, eventually the application program, it's the same, right? It just sees its data being fed in and the, uh, the thing to which it's communicating at the other end also just sees that data. So this again is one of the, the key pieces of the puzzle that actually allows us to have this kind of abstraction that makes it really easy to implement network applications without having to care about whatever is going on at the lower levels. So again, you really want to get your, uh, your head uh, around this idea of encapsulation because it will come up again and again, and it is really key for the, um, uh, the effective operation uh, of networks. So. That's it for the moment. Again, comments below uh, if you wish. Otherwise, we'll see you next video.